Well, guys, it's time to start the exam. Look, I don't want any of you to cheat. This exam is very complicated. I must get a good grade or else I'll lose my scholarship. Can you give me the answers? I didn't study. Alright guys, the time is now over. Please turn in your exams. I got the best grade. With this, they won't be able to take away my scholarship, and I'll graduate from the best school. <sighs> Hi, Sarah. Thank you for letting me copy. I got a top score. If you study at this school, your parents must have a lot of money. Yes, of course. Oh, my driver is here. And your chauffeur, is he coming for you? Mine's almost here. Uh, no, not today. He's not able to come get me. If you want, you can hop in with me. My driver can drop you off at your house. Okay, sure. Oh, due to the excitement and emotion for the score, I left my things in the classroom, but I'm coming, okay? Thank you so much for bringing me home, friend. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow at school. tired of pretending I have money. When I graduate, I'm gonna get work and I'm gonna get out of this pigsty I live in. Oh, so embarrassing. Hi, my love. How was school today? I hope you continue to keep the scholarship. Ah, <sighs> yes. You don't have to remind me all the time. I know. I know that I have to behave well, that I have to study because we're poor. Well, daughter, I'll get you some lunch. This will be useful to invite my friends to eat tomorrow.
There you go. Enjoy it, honey. Thank you so much for the invitation, girl. No worries. You already know, this is nothing for me. It's my pleasure. Hello, sweetie. Those must be your friends. Care to introduce me? Who is this woman? Okay, let's get out of here before she infects us or something. Uh, yeah, let's go. I don't know who this lady is. Waiter, a tip for you. Why did you have to show up when my friends were around? I already told you that I am embarrassed of you. They have money. I'm tired of living in poverty like this. You owe me respect. I am your mother. Rather, why don't you help me find some money that I lost recently? It was our rent money, and for appliances. I don't have time for that. I have homework to get to. <sighs> What's wrong with my little girl? Oh. I don't know what to do. We have to pay rent and for the services. Very soon, we might get kicked out. We'll have to figure something out. God, please help us. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't my fault. The paper fell off and I didn't see the teacher. Well, you're a fool. How could you be so dumb as to let that happen? Now because of you, we're gonna fail. You're useless. A good for nothing. And you really thought that someone like you can be our friend? <laughs> Get it in your head. You're not good enough for us. <laughs> Ladies, now. I wanted to tell you that, unfortunately, you are expelled from school. You committed a very serious offense. So please, pick up your things, and I'll wait for you at the rectory. Honey, what happened? Mom, please forgive me. I got kicked out of school because... because I cheated on an exam and they took away my scholarship. I just wanted to pretend to my friends that I also have money like they do, you know? And I was the one who stole your rent money the other day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Daughter.
Sarah, every act we do in this life comes with consequences. And the people who humiliate you for money, they're not your friends. I know, Mom. I know I made a lot of mistakes recently. And I'm really sorry about it. But I'm going to work really hard to help you get that money back so we can pay our rent. I'm so sorry. Living by appearances never leads to anything good. True friendship is not about your money, but about what you can offer as a person. That's why you should learn to be selective with the people you open your life to.